In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cumulative frequency and a relative frequency uh, out of the table and then convert that into a frequency polygon. What we need first is to establish the upper boundaries. Look at the class boundary here. It's placed all in one cell. I do not need the entire uh, range. All I need to specify is the upper boundary, and this is 10.5 for the first uh, class interval, followed by 15.5. Now I have a sequence. All I need to do is just copy it down. The frequency, I'm going to copy the frequencies from here and place them there. So these are the frequencies and put them in the center. Cumulative, it means I will add up as I go down. This will tell me basically how much I have below the upper boundary at any particular point in time. So with the first class interval, all I have is the first one. So this is equal to the first value only. With the next cumulative frequency, I need to add up 1 and 2 and place the result here. So that will be the previous value and add to it the current frequency. So a total of 3. Repeat the same step or simply drag until I get to the last one. And notice the last value is 20, confirming the total frequencies that I have. And I do have 20 values. How do I know if... The question first tells you, and if you're not sure, come here and add up how many values we started with. Notice the cumulative frequency is 20. With the relative frequency, the uh, word relative here indicates um, proportion, percentage, percentage of the whole. So here the frequency is 1 out of 20. What's that as a percentage, as a relative frequency? So we come here and say 1 divided by 20 and this is a fixed value the 20 is a fixed value so that's f4 and enter notice it's five percent and if it's not formatted as a percentage perhaps as a decimal then you can click on this button you see the percentage button so you don't have to multiply by 100 in my case i've already have it formatted to the percentage drag down and this will confirm all the values I have. To make sure I do have the right numbers, if I add them up, I should get 100%. And I do. So this is what I have. Next step is to uh, create the frequency polygon using the upper boundaries and the cumulative frequency. Notice this is a line that will never drop because I add up as I go down the table, as I add up the frequencies. So to form the graph, we'll highlight the first column and hold press and hold the second one here notice now I've highlighted none adjacent none adjacent columns now we go to the insert and the graph that I wish to create we can choose this scatter graph or the line graph let's see what we get if in case we don't like it we can uh, change it back. Let me go actually to the line graph and I want it in lines. This looks funny. That's not what I intended. What I intended is that for the upper boundaries to be on the x-axis and the cumulative frequency on the y-axis. Can we fix this? Of course we can. So right click anywhere on the graph. Select your data. Notice now the upper boundary should not be on the y-series. So remove this. We go to the horizontal and now we add the upper boundaries because I want them to be on my x-axis and say OK. So this is what I have. Now we modify the graph, add titles. Notice, look at the line. It goes up, 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 up. If there is any value, any frequency that is zero, then the line will be steady. It will not be going up or down, but it will never, never go down. For a cumulative frequency, it's always pointing up or staying the, at the same level. You can, of course, add the titles to the x-axis and to the y-axis. And that's through the layout. So axis title, horizontal, below. Here I have the upper boundaries. And that is the upper boundaries. And for the y-axis... We have the frequency, cumulative frequency here. Let me correct this, cumulative 
for equality. And this is a title. Let's add the title. I need to add a title for the So now we can make these bigger. And this one as well. Okay. Oh, we forgot to add the title for the graph. So we go to layout and chart title and put it on top. This is the frequency. Polygon. Okay. You can do the same with the relative frequency, but instead of selecting this column and this one, you will have to select this and this instead and proceed with your graph. So with this We've explained what is a cumulative frequency, what is a relative frequency. Relative frequency, when it comes to percentages, proportions, it is best used when you try to compare between uh, two data sets of different numbers, of different magnitudes. Because if you rely on the sheer value of the number, that is not a uh, good comparison between the two. Uh, let's say uh, anywhere population traits between a small city such as Ras al Khaimah and a big city like Abu Dhabi. In this case, if you change them to percentages, it will make more sense. I'll see you in the next video.